hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel on today's video i'll be making this beautiful two-piece outfit the one i saw seems as if it's a one-piece outfit but i decided to make it two-piece so that i can use the skirt to wear something else okay please guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you guys I'm using this net fabric and this Ankara fabric. The net fabric is four yards, while the Ankara fabric is two yards. I'll be drafting the pattern on the Ankara fabric for the dress. Take your fabric and fold it into two. Okay, you are going to separate the two yards and you are going to have the front piece and the back piece. That's what you are going to have for the dress. So, you are going to put the front piece is going to be on top of the back piece. And for the back piece, you are going to give extra one inch for zipper allowance. You do that, I will be drafting the pattern on top of the fabric. The first measurement you are going to put down on the dress is your bust measurement divided by six plus one and a half inch that is our arm date and our chest line as we are going to put everything so then you add your waist measurement and <coughs> we will not be adding our hip measurement from our waist measurement we are going to slant it to give us the curve that we need for our dress so just insert the chest measurement and the waist measurement mark it across the fabric and draw a straight line the shoulder measurement we are using is 16 inches divide by 2 is 8 inches mark it on your shoulder line then come down by 1 inch after coming down by 1 inch you are going to connect it to your chest line Then you are going to slant it to your neckline, okay? So just give it a bit of slant. Then from there, I came down by three and a half inches for the depth. Then for the wideness, I use three and a half inches also. Why for the back, I use two inches. So the three and a half inches for the depth was for the front and for the back I use two inches so connect the lines come to the chest line and insert your bust measurement so you are going to divide your bust measurement by four after dividing it by four you are going to insert your bust measurement so what I have is 10.5 then I mark the 10.5 and I'll be using one and a half inch Measurement for sewing allowance and ease. Then, after doing that, you take the uh, total measurement of your arm O, okay? Then you divide it by 2. So, after dividing it by 2, you are going to go in by half an inch. We are trying to get the front arm O curve. Then, connect it to your bust measurement, okay? So, just connect it with your curve ruler. After doing that, you are going to connect the back also. So connect the front and you connect the back. For the back, we are just going to use the normal line for the back arm or curve. While the front is the half inch that you took in. That's where you are going to connect it from. Then come to the waistline and divide your waist by 4. The waist measurement I'm using is 33. Divide by 4 is 8.25. Plus one and a half inch for sewing allowance and ease. Then you connect the lines. Connect your bust to your waist. Just give it that slant. From the waist, you are going to find the length of your gown. So mine is 17 inches. Then for the wideness, I use the 
total wideness of my fabric for it and I was having 21 inches so I'm just going to mark it then connect the waist down to it so it's just going to be slanted okay that was why I said it was an A-line short dress simple and easy to to make connect the lines you can reduce it if you want to but i decided to just use the wideness of my fabric they give it a curve this is our dress this is everything about our dress the first thing you'll do now is cut it out cut out everything together so we're going to cut out the back face so we'll be cutting the front and the back but it's the back measurement the back neckline the back arm will we'll be using Go to the back and open up the back zipper allowance that we have. Separate the back from the front. Then on the front, just remove the front neckline. So to cut out the front neckline and the front arm or cuff. Now done with the dress pattern, what you do is take it to your sewing machine and join the shoulder to shoulder together of the back piece and the front piece. You can use bias to turn your neckline or use your main fabric, cut a lining piece and use it to turn the neckline. Keep the main dress aside and cut out your sleeve. So I have my sleeve pattern and I'll be using it to cut out the sleeve. It's a very short sleeve so just cut it out. Take the sleeve aside and cut out the lining piece. Now take it to your sewing machine and join the shoulder to shoulder of the main dress and the lining piece. Then use the lining piece to turn the neckline. I've joined the neckline, I've turned it with the lining piece, then I've ironed it. What you do is pin your sleeve. Okay, after pinning your sleeve, you join the sides together. So I'm going to join the sides together. Join the sleeve with the dress, then join the zipper on the dress. I'm going to skip all this part, so I try to just say everything that will be doing concerning the dress. It's just a normal way of sewing dress, so there's no dart and nothing attached to it. For the skirt, I'm using this elastic for it. And I'm going to cut out two yards from the net, then, and I'm going to use the two yards that I cut out for the fleece skirt. That's what we're going to use to make that circle skirt. Okay, so I'll do that now, and I'll show you how it looks. So let's cut everything out. Fold the net fabric into four places. And divide your waist measurement by 6.25 then you are going to have 5.5 the length I'm using is 24 inches okay so from that 5.5 you are going to mark your 24 inches so mark the 5.5 round then after you've got to that part from that 5.5 that I said earlier you are going to now mark it to get the total length for your skirt mark it out and you are going to connect all the lines okay use the length that you have depends on how long you want it to be after marking it and connecting all the lines cut it out we've gotten our skirt space so open it up there is no joining okay so i'm just going to attach the elastic to it there is no joining but for the elastic i'm going to join it and attach it to the skirt okay then when you are done we'll cut out the ruffles i'll do that then cut out the ruffles for the ruffles i've using six inches but i'll cut at 12 inches first then divide it later okay so i'll do that for as much as 
the amount of ruffles I could get from my two inches. And we'll be doing the gathering and everything, replacing it on top of the skirt. We are not going to turn it in and attach. We'll be doing all the ruffles is going to show on the skirt. After cutting it, you are going to separate it and take it to your sewing machine and join all the pieces together and run gathers on it. This is our dress. I've done everything, attach the sleeve, attach the zip and join the end line. So just press it and we're ready to rock it with our net. So let's go over to our net and complete our net. Skate. We're done attaching the elastic to the net. What we're going to do now is you open it up and you'll be attaching the ruffles on it okay you join the ruffles round and gather it you see it i've gathered everything and we are just going to place it and sew on top and so you sew it round on your skirt so i'll do that and show you how it looks here's the final look guys thank you so much for watching today's tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel Bye, guys.